Good afternoon. Second a video a vlog of uh, of dog walking. There's Annabelle. She's off leash. Enjoy a beautiful February first. If Groundhog Day is tomorrow, yeah, I think so. Yeah. But uh, yep. Enjoy a beautiful. Crisp February 1st. And since I last spoke, did a couple of crazy things. Well, really one. <laughs> I signed up for uh, a 24-hour race at the end of February. Yeah, the idea is to see how run I can far run how far I can run on this on these trails at this ranch in Fremont, Texas in 24 hours. First time I've ever done 24. I've done 12. I've done six. Well, yesterday I don't know what came over me. I just sat there and stared at the 24 option. I thought, hey, let's do it. Let's just go ahead and do it. Didn't get to fulfill my uh race goals in 2020 because of the pandemic. You know, one race a month. I'm actually doing two this month. In a couple of weeks of Valentine's weekend. I'll be doing a, uh, you're going to take a whiff of this stuff too. I'll be doing a 10k and then, uh, and then the uh, 24 last weekend in February. The weekend after uh, my 52nd birthday. We'll see if I can at least uh, run, run my age. If not, uh, maybe uh, 69 miles. If I average uh, three miles per hour and don't ever stop or anything, uh, I should, I could theoretically do 72, averaging three miles an hour. But I don't know. I've got, got to stop and go to the bathroom and rest a little. You know, get something to eat. Spend some time in the porter potty, to, wondering about your life choices. Okay, I'm have to be on the court. I have to be on course for a minimum of 21 and a half hours. So there's you know, there's time for me to go off course and do some take care of some take care of myself. Not nearly as busy at work, which is great. We've got some new people and all that. And we got did a couple of did a couple of local, local shoots last week and a, a shoot with involving um, a new spring background, which is sort of a teal colored piece of paper and you know holding up a little sign say if it could be anything, be kind. And we're going to do some with some older kids. I think we're just going to have one that's 2012. And of course, they have the option not to do a sign at all. But the older kids. But anyway, it's a, it's a very pretty teal paper background. But I don't get to shoot again till Wednesday. So that's nice, having a nice four day weekend. Well, apart from a meeting, but I had a little brain fart at the meeting. I forgot to press one more button to get in on the Zoom meeting. But uh, managed to make it, heard everything.
my sister and brother got a portion of my dad's ashes and my nephew's. And she gave me a, a number, a place online to order, order a keepsake so I could put some of my dad's ashes in a proper container rather than the box on my dining room table. And there's quite a, quite a few ashes, which, and then some of them will be spread at, uh, at uh, a lake that we used to go to, Toledo Bend Lake, in, uh, which is a, a border of Texas and Louisiana, famous for a largemouth bass. Spread this, spread them there. Once everybody's got their bit, and got my dad's watch. And my sister now has it, which she can give to my brother. Sorry, so I'm not walking very well because uh, I'm actually attached. to little JJ here is well has to stay on leash, and so he kind of he kind of tugs, so I can't really just. You know, walk and talk at the same time when he decides he's going to stop and smell. There's Annabelle up ahead. Oh, it's, you know, my sister, you found this place online that has some of the best, the best deals for that kind of thing, and he even gave her a coupon, twenty five percent off on your off your next purchase, which is kind of a funny thing. But yeah. You hope you don't have to be making too many of those, but that's nice of them to, to offer. Again, yeah, it's just kind of funny. And JJ got to visit my sister while we were dealing with the ashes, so that was she had a good time. He had a good time. Slept all the way back. Where are you pulling me, buddy? Not a path. That is definitely not a path. Not a person path. That is definitely a deer path. Yes, there are deer out here and an occasional an occasional bobcat. Saw one a few years ago. Hey guys, it's not a path.
doesn't want to go down there, buddy. Oh, you're going to get so messy. Or so like a moose bath that uh, somebody had tried to make, but we don't have moose in this part of the country. Oh my god. Yeah, JJ, I don't know. JJ, you don't need to get in that. No, please, JJ. Oh, you're going to get so nasty. Uh, oh, yeah, it looks like oh, some other dogs and pigs and... Oh yeah, thanks, Annabelle. Uh, JJ, stop eating that. Oh, God, what, you, what was that? Jeez. That was probably some, some animal poop. All right. JJ, don't eat that. Thank you. He's just sniffing around, Annabelle. Approaching the soccer field, so I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and uh, please like and subscribe.